How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otis, and this is another episode of Astro's... Astrobot? I was gonna say Astro's Playroom, but no, it's just Astrobot. Alright, let's go to the Ice Cream World. Creamy Canyon. This game takes place in space, so... Each level can be whatever theme they want it to be. Did I need to stick to one... thing per level? Ladybug robot. How do I kill it? Ladybug, they're probably the only bug that can be kind of called cute. How do I get rid of it? I don't have a slam... Ground slam move. I'll just leave it alone. Maybe it's just gonna permanently be stuck like that. There's little cotton balls everywhere. And there's waffle trees and snow that reacts to you. It's like Red Dead Redemption 2. What if I walk all over the snow? Is it gonna disappear? Check this out, I'm just eating at the snow. Well, okay, I suppose that's a bit less realistic than Red Dead 2. Because in Red Dead 2, like, when you walk around the snow, it'll, like, eventually form back into how it used to be. Especially if the snow is still falling. Yeah, that's another game that, like... Pr that's probably the last game I felt was truly amazing. Red Dead 2. Also, I've heard some stories about how, um... PlayStation is gonna get exclusive rights to advertise... Advertising... GTA 6. So whenever there's gonna be some GTA 6 trailers... Oh, crap. That was a Crash 2. Except I'm sure it wasn't intentional, but... I missed the robot already. What's up, man? Last episode, I I went through a level and I missed a robot, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I had no idea where he was. The family of bears. Wish I could throw them off the edge so they could die, but I suppose my What's this. Look, I'm an ice cream. Okay. Shall I... Do something? Astro's posing, but... Is it just for a screenshot? Should I do something about this? I got no idea. What do I do about these? Uh, I see what I do about these. I push them into place. Show them where they belong. Get rid of these. Eat up all the ice cream. Hold on, I'm like a lawnmower. I gotta eat at it. That's a hidden achievement if you get rid of all the snow particles from the entire freaking game. That's what I'm gonna do. How do I know that? I made it up. Wow, this game's awful. Makes me do that kind of stuff. I'm kind of ruining the snow effect by walking through it so many times. If you walk through it once, it looks really nice. A puzzle piece. And I hear a robot in distress. Can't help you, snake. Okay, so I just messed up and I, I accidentally made it where I can't help Solid Snake right now. He's literally... Can I please get rid of the platform out of the place? Can I knock it out? Oh, I can't thank fucking God. They thought about it. They thought some moron would fuck this up. Snake, I got you, man. I'm shaking your ass at me. Look at Solid Snake and this time around they actually made him look like Snake. Gave him the haircut. In the last game, in Astro's Playroom, you just find an Astrobot who's got a bandana. And that's about it. Here, you find a robot that actually looks like Solid Snake. Oh, and there's Psychomantis. It's full away. 
Can I walk on this? Uh, I'm, a, I'm ju judging by the sign. Oh, well, there's no sign anymore. I guess I can swim. I had no idea this was Nitro. I tell you the name of it if I knew it. Nitro, nitro dioxide or something like that. That's the liquid that like freezes things. They hit a gun like that in the new Alien movie recently, where instead of a flamethrower, they hit an ice gun. That was a nice ice change of pace. Also, you know what? One another another thing I love about this game is that we don't really get 3D platformers from major publishers like that, like Sony. Like only Nintendo bothers to do stuff like that. Oh no, I just... There's like these cutesy seals and I just destroyed them. Psycho Mantis! Out of all the Metal Gear characters they could, they could pick... What about Raiden or Big Boss? I guess Big Boss would just look like Solid Snake, but with an eye patch. Guess they wanted iconic PlayStation characters, and Psycho Mantis is the guy who made you unplug your PlayStation controller. What the hell is this? Oh, I see. Oh my god. Look at that, this is awesome. You know what's cool about this level? It's an ice level, but it's an ice cream level. Not just an ice level. It's as original as when Rayman Origins had an ice level. Instead of just having a normal ice level, they instead had a level themed around cold, icy drinks. So long, pig. I wanna play Mario games on this channel at some point. I'm probably gonna, at some point, just become a Nintendo YouTuber all of a sudden. Nintendo Let's Player. I was thinking of like next. Oh, what the hell! I didn't know this was gonna switch. My apologies. Wait for me, you fucking ladybug! Oh, what are they doing now? They're messing with the place. Oh, I got a spin. That's cool. Sackboy hit a thing like that too. And he's a robot screaming for help. It's up there. Is that Gray Fox? As a little adorable robot. Oh my god, stop being so scared. You're a cyborg ninja. What do you got to be scared of? Heights? Well, I guess. Even cyborg things that ninjas could be scared of height. It's great far. Really funny how cute he is. Look, he actually he's got like a helmet instead of two eyes. And Psycho Mantis got a mask. That's the third Metal Gear character we found. Wonder if there's more. Also, you know what? Because this game is so heavily tied to PlayStation, I can totally imagine how everybody's gonna take all these PlayStation references as Sony confirming that, oh, the next game they're working on is a new Metal Gear game, blah blah blah. And stuff like that. But in reality, they're probably, you know, they're just fun little references. That doesn't need to confirm that, no oh, Ape Escape is in development, because there's an Ape Escape reference in this game. I do find it hilarious how to save robots you have to kick their ass. Damn it, I missed the robot again. Oh, come on. Is each level gonna have at least one robot that's so well hidden I can't find it? It was hidden uh, before Grey Fox, so I'm assuming it's around here. There's something down there, I'm not sure what that is. 
No, I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a secret. Oh, there's a spinny thing. There's a robot. Found him. Oh, we don't have the inflatable ability we had last level. I hope they use it again, it was very fun. You know, the games are this fucking good and have so much stuff going on. It actually makes me sometimes worry that have they not put a little bit too much stuff into one game? Like, what are they gonna do for the sequel? Because I sure as hell hope there's a sequel. Wouldn't want Team Asobi to just... I mean, I guess they could make their own, like, new game. They don't have to just keep making Afterbot games. Look how cool it looks when I get rid of the snow. It's a big ice cream. Aw, oh, crap, I fucked it up. I'm planning on recording three episodes today, even though it's a bit late. Oh, it was like a giant ladybug. And I saved the robot. We got all the robots saved. Cool. Super cool. Well, that's the finale. No, they just dropped me into the exit. I saved all the robots. It's a rescue mission. Never in my life would I thought that I'd seen Gray Fox. Oh, you bastard. That was see Gray Fox flossing. I didn't find like a portal thing. Oh man, I thought I would like find like a secret level. Well, this level only see there's like a spiral thing. I didn't found it. Ah damn it! Now I'm gonna have to look up where these, these things are. Hell this. Oh wait a minute. Let me let me fly around this area. Can I like? What do we have? Oh, what about flying back here? There's our bare bones PS5. Looks depressed. Wow, it pulled itself out of the ground. PS5 truly is powerful. <laughs> I wonder if this game will come out on Xbox. Can you imagine that? To, to just replace like all the robots eyes with green and instead of a PS5 there's just a big Xbox. You rescued your first bots. Many more are scattered across the universe. Search every planet and try to rescue them all. I sure will. On my own account. Oh, you make a little cutesy crash site. Crash Bandicoot site. Right, I want to explore. Man, this music is awesome. Reminds me of Rayman. Rayman Legends, specifically. What's this? Ten robots. I, I have ten robots. Do I have to spend ten robots? <laughs> Psycho Mantis fell over. Guys, help me out with this rock. Do I help too? Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna stand back and just look. Thanks, Snake. Thanks, Psycho Mantis. Thanks, all the other robots. How does one robot become uh, its own unique robot? Oh, I only need two. No, there's a Celine robot. We saved Celine robot. Fuck yeah. She's got Metal Gear character skeleton first. I love this game. Holy shit. Like, if you watch my play, uh, Astro's Playroom robot, you know, you'll fucking find me geeking out about PlayStation. But this time I can geek out about PlayStation games. And look at that, that's Celine from Returnal. I did play the Returnal, but I never beat it because that game was really difficult. Didn't she break the cycle already? Stranded Scout. 
Harry Potter with the champions ready to play. Yeah, sure. And she was one of the robots you had to save in the Astro's Playroom uh, update that we I've made a video about recently. Okay, let me look around this area. Maybe that's what we're gonna do between episodes. Like, we're gonna do one stage and come back here to check out what's going on. Oh, that's the Gran Turismo robot. That's uh, that's all the robots I had to save in the Astro's Playroom. That'd be kind of cool if like Astro's Playroom uh, progress carried over to this game. Pro Driver, Real Driver Simulator. What about Ridge Racer? Ten robots again. I got ten robots. Got fifteen robots. Whoa. Breaking platforms. Thanks, guys. Don't need to do that anymore. Fine, quit it. I don't need you to hold up rocks anymore. Oh god, that's another robot in need of help. It's like a robot animal. I'm like the leader of the robots. I'm the robot. They're all like basic robots. I got a little cape. Making me the leader. I guess. Since this let's play, these episodes ain't too long. That's the Returnal robot. She's got a toy astronaut. Oops, I killed her. Huh. Robot fixes death. That's cute. What about you, driver robot? He's playing with the PlayStation steering wheel, but it'd be funny if he actually had a car. Like, drove around the stage. So it'd be pretty difficult to actually catch a glimpse of him. There's like secrets in this place. Like, whoa. That's one thing I loved about games like these as a kid. It's like you start the game and you see all these access like areas you can't access yet and you wonder like man when am I gonna get to that? A monkey's is in peril. Build a rescue helicopter, save the monkey. The new Lego City Lego Astrobot sets. I can totally picture a Lego Astrobot, but they're not gonna do that, that's too too many fucking properties to handle. A Lego set based off of a million different PlayStation franchises? I can picture maybe one PlayStation franchise being turned into a Lego set. Like... Actually, I can picture like a Lego PlayStation thing. But they could only make sets, probably. I mean... The, the smart move would be to make place like Lego sets off of like first-party PlayStation properties. Like a Lego Uncharted set, a Lego God of War set. Like all the Last of Us set, stuff like that. What an insatiable ape title. They probably <laughs> Can I throw him all like off the stage? See ya. Thanks for the help, suckers, but now you're dead. Man, I'm such a horrible robot. You should have never trusted me to lead them. Oh never mind there he is. Eating bananas. I guess that's a mask, but why would a robot be eating so many bananas? What's this? No punching? Oh look, there's a clank robot too. He's so small. Clank hit his own video game on a PSP. He dropped all the bolts. Ouch. Hit me. She's thinking of a thing. I, I don't know what that means. The Huntress from Bloodborne. We gotta save her. Thank you, Nightmare Guardian, the youngest of the old hunters. I think she was the lady who would level you up in, in Bloodborne. I haven't played that much Bloodborne. Oh, there's the metal characters. They all want something from me, but I got no idea what. Oh, look, parrot. Look at all these, like, areas. There's, like, a thing. Over there, there's, like, a thing. It's 
probably a lot. Oh, the parrot actually came into play. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I gotta grab them. That looks inappropriate. Guys, don't leave without me, please. I cannot wait. To show this game to my sister. You know what, like, when I showed you the Astro Playroom bonus episode recently, I asked my sister to 100% the game for me and she just kind of casually did. Because I needed a save file where the game beat in, so that I could even uh, record all the secrets they added. This robot's carrying a box. Data. 8 megabytes. What's this? I can see all the robots. We have tooled up mechanic. This little buddy has got his back. I found only Ratchet. I don't remember finding Clank. Clank is so freaking cute. Just a tiny... He's already a robot. And they turned him into an astral robot. Alone backs from another dimension. Riveting. Multiversal love rebel. Stranded scout. I love how none of them are actually seem to be labeled as they're just like by their normal names. The youngest of the old hunters. So many PlayStation references we gotta find. Legendary mercenary was a terrible child. I mean, there was also Liquid. Why was he a terrible child? Because he never been a child? I don't know. I think he's been a child, like... I don't think that's what the game implies. Mystery Ninja, neither an enemy nor friend. I'm just standing with their arms... Whatever. Psychic Menace can achieve anything he puts his mind to. He looks pretty cool, like... He's got a gas mask, you can barely see his eyes. Though if you look closely, you can see he's just as goofy and happy to be here as every other robot. Snake kinda looks serious. That's probably because his bandana makes him look serious. Gray Fox doesn't have a face. He looks so fucking cool, I would love to have like figure of him. Or you know what even better? I would love if like every robot you unlock you could play as. Bro, that'd be fucking dope. Pro Driver. That's, uh... You know what? I have no idea what this thing is. I know it's a PlayStation thing, but like... I believe it's related... It was like a... Like a Japanese thing. Like a product that was released in Japan. And not... Nowhere else. An Astro... Rock just crashed these guys. And I'm rescuing robots just from like walking around this hub world. Nice, more puzzles. Right, I think I found everything there was to find. So how about we go back to the galaxy? Next episode, we're gonna try to get back into the... We're gonna do another level. Nice. It's a big gacha machine, like in the previous game. I think the gacha machine comes back in this one, because I spoiled myself a little bit, like a tiny little bit. I've seen some of the stuff that this game has to offer already. It was kind of hard to do that, to not do that, because I was watching a bunch of reviews of this game, and they all had footage of this game playing in the background, so obviously. It's playing on a PS1. The, like, model with a screen attached to it. In the last game, whenever you idled, he would play with a PSP. That's so freaking cute. I hope he plays with like every single PlayStation console. Hold on. I gotta see him do something more cute. Oh, I can do the PlayStation symbols. That's so cute. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.